Hey everyone, this is Scott from servmedia.com and in this video I'm just going to be showing you how to add a subdomain in your Cloudflare admin panel. I was asked to do this by a commenter and I thank him for his suggestion and his question. Um, there's two ways that you can add a subdomain and this is true for any type of panel, whether it's cPanel or just in Cloudflare, just like this. You can choose to do it via an A record or a C name record and there is a difference but nothing major. If you add it to a CNAME record, you have the option of choosing where the record points to. So you can choose to point that record to a domain. If you are working on a uh, platform like Teachable, you'll have to use a CNAME record and they'll, uh, they'll give you a name, which is just gonna be, let's just say you're on Teachable and you're setting up learning.thedailyexposition.com. The target will be the subdomain that they provide to you. And that allows you to point it to a different domain, but still treat it like it's learning.thedailyexposition.com. So I could just say that this is target is google.com. So now if I go to learning.thedailyexposition.com and it says it, it points to Google server. And now Google doesn't have an endpoint set up for me to function off of that but it functionally works the same. Now, you can also use CNAME records as a standard URL to your root. So you can point, as we have with www, point it to the root URL. So that's gonna take whatever your IP address here is and point it out. So we're just gonna call it testing and we're going to use our target at root. So the it's an alias of the dailyexposition.com now, if I go to testing.thedailyexposition.com, it should open up to thedailyexposition.com, but for some reason it treated it like, oh, what it did is, is it treated it like my server IP address, which doesn't have the default application set up, which will happen unless you have in your cPanel or in your hosting panel, the subdomain set up. So it's going to treat it like testing.thedailyexposition.com and for the IP address, it's going to take it from the main A record here. And then finally, you could choose to use an A record. We'll delete this. The A record has the advantage of allowing you to point it to any IPv, uh, IPv4 address that you wish. So if I do staging.thedailyexposition.com, my IPv4 address needs to be either the address of my server or another server that I'm setting this up on. And you could choose a proxy if you wish. Now if you go staging.thedailyexposition.com, it should open up just fine. For most implementations, my general rule of thumb is for your CNAME record, you typically use this for your www domain because it's always going to be that IP address. Any others that are come pre-installed, for instance, these were from a uh, SiteGround, I never bothered to delete them, but I, I can delete them right now if I wish. They should typically, if it's gonna share the same IP address, you could set it as a CNAME and just fine. If you have to point it at a different domain, then you have to use a CNAME record. And if you're pointing it to, if you need to point a subdomain to a different server based on the IP address, you need to use IPv, the A record and put the IPv4 address in. Any implementation is fine, just know for it depends on your implementation. So the TLDR is use the A record for a subdomain if you want to declare the IP address and if it could change or you want to put it on a different server with a different IP address. If you just want to get it slapped together like your www record, go ahead and use the CNAME. And if you need to point it to a different host name, you have to use the CNAME record and you just put it in under the content section. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.